Hi folks, my name is Rob Eiler, and I'm here to talk to you from the California and Nevada Credit Union Leagues and give you what we're calling our economic quick update as part of your economy, your credit union. So what I want to show you is I want to show you some things we've been tracking. Here's a breakdown of what's going on with inflation. So inflation has been a big thing for our members, for our credit unions, for our communities over the last year or so. And to a certain extent, we haven't really had much of an example of inflation norm or lately, I should say, since really just before the Great Recession. That black dotted line represents where the Federal Reserve would like to see inflation. And this shows you different parts of the components of what we call the consumer price index that have been changing over the last 12 months. And it's really over the last 12 months where a lot of the current inflation pressure really built up in our economy. So you can see that energy right now, especially in March, when we have the conflict in Eastern Europe, really pushed prices up. And it's that black column called all items, less food and energy, that is the focus of policymakers trying to drive that black column back down toward that black dotted line. So when you hear the Federal Reserve is going to be trying to increase interest rates and maybe being a little bit more aggressive uh, over the next couple of quarters than they would have been maybe six months ago, it's really trying to do that. But here's some other parts of that, which you can see airfares are up. Housing has subsided a little bit, but that was a driver six months ago. Car prices are still relatively high from where we want them to be on average. And so that's those are major components of what's driving that black column higher than that black dotted line. Another quick question to think about and how inflation might uh, affect where we're headed from a general macro standpoint is, isn't another recession looming soon? Well, the no case is that we're gonna still see relatively low interest rates. And it's a supposition right now of most economists that when we see interest rates rise, it's gonna really be somewhere right about where we were before the pandemic. It's not gonna surge way up above that. That's the current thinking. So if that holds and the crisis in Eastern Europe kind of subsides, and it maybe comes to some medium resolution where Ukraine remains a sovereign nation for the most part. And we see our global adjustments finally take place with respect to coming out of the, of the pandemic shadow completely on the supply side of our economy with our supply chains cleaning up. There's no reason to think that we will continue to have inflation pressure and slowing growth. But the yes case that, in, that a recession is not that far away is that if interest rates rise quickly and we see some tipping in terms of short-term rates getting closer and closer to long-term rates or what we think of as a yield curve inversion, that's a problem if we see fiscal policy shift away from spending more on the American economy to shifting more on spending more on defense and shifting that spending away from the American economy, that'll slow things down. If it's in spec, sorry, expected inflation remains relatively high and that's driving members, community decision-making around spending and, and basically acting as a self-fulfilling prophecy, that will keep bond prices higher that inflation risk looming in our economy. And of course, if we don't see that conflict subside soon, that's gonna be a shadow effect into next year. All that could lead to global growth. And in fact, the IMF earlier this week provided their prediction as of this quarter and said that they're now downgrading growth over the next few years as a result of what's happened with lingering high levels of inflation and also the continued detritus from what's happening with the conflict in Eastern Europe. In July, check this out, we're gonna be doing your, uh, Economy, your credit union virtual conference on July 12th. We're going to be talking about all kinds of things about the economics of credit unions, the economy generally, and how they all connect as you get ready for budget season. Uh, please check that out. There'll be more coming out from the league on that. And if you have any other questions you need to ask an economist, let me know. Really appreciate it. Uh, this is my contact info. And thanks again for listening.